Islam is not a religion. It is a political ideology that imposes itself by force and fear. American values such as compassion, respect, and acceptance of others should not get in the way of understanding the danger that threaten those very core virtues. Following these values blindly might lead to demise. When it comes to Islam, Americans are sound asleep. They have to wake up and realize destruction and cru cruelty can and will happen here if they continue to ignore the magnitude of this ideology. Millions of Islamists throughout the world are ready to act out their ideology, to kill or to be killed in order to be divine, have their next meal with Muhammad and sleep with 72 virgin Huriya. They are indoctrinated to believe Islam is here to take over the world and restore the Islamic Khalafa of the 7th century. When they find weak governments that are more interested in political correctness rather than protecting their country, they will seize the opportunity to destroy that country's religions and replace them with Islam. They practice Islam not as a religion, but as a weapon. They understand the need to infiltrate and distract from within. The second front is to penetrate the mindset of those in the world who don't understand Islam and convince them that there is no such thing as Islam and radical Islam. All Islam is radical. <laughs> the difficulties I faced trying to educate people in America, the America that I love and ready to sacrifice my life to protect, was beyond my ability to overcome in the past, but not today. Today I am here speaking to you. <laughs> Urging you to stand up with me against conformity and submission. People have been brainwashed to believe that all religions are basically good and have good intention. But Islam is not good, nor does it have a good, a good intentions. Islam justifies hatred and violence, and as well as encourages it. Not that long ago, the Pope, states that the Quran is a book of peace and Islam is a peaceful religion. Wrong, absolutely wrong. <laughs> On the contrary, it is also psychologically and spiritually damaging to people like myself who had suffered under Islamic Sharia.